What's up, everybody? Big Hurt Prison Talk. You're tuned in to another episode. I'm here with the homie Manchester from Inglewood, and you guys always ask me a lot of questions, so I like to get these answers from a different perspective. And one of the things I want to ask him is, since you've been home and having um, to overcome all the adversity of being an ex-felon with a record and, and you know trying to be successful, What's one of the uh, what was one of the hardest things or things you felt was the most challenging, and how was you able to overcome that challenge? Um, probably the hardest challenge really was myself. You know, it's it's you know I feel like you know we got all the tools. You know what I'm saying? You can really do anything you want. So, you know, once I you know I I I learned how not to get in my own way. Mm-hmm. You know, and just maintain that discipline, that same discipline I had in prison. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? To 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 translate into my day to day life on the streets. So, you know, overcoming it was like, you know, getting out of my own way to where it's like, okay, I gotta do this because I gotta go get a job mm-hmm. because I'm supposed to, instead of well, you can start your own business. You can generate, you know, income for yourself. You can drive Uber. You can do Postmates. You mm-hmm. can, you know, it's a plethora of things you can do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I got out my own way, it's just like, go. Mm-hmm. After that, it was simple. It was just, okay, I had plans, certain things I wanted to do. Kept the discipline to execute them, the mm-hmm. patience to execute them. Everything won't happen overnight. It won't come in a week. That's right. You know, certain th- it take, it's going to take time. If you want to be great, greatness, it takes a little time to be great. Mm-hmm. It ain't overnight. You're not going to be great overnight. You're not going to be Warren Buffett overnight. You want to amass a billion dollars overnight. It just don't happen that That's way. Right. But That's that right. don't mean you're not a good businessman. That don't mean you don't have the intelligence to get there. You just got to have the patience it takes and the discipline to get there. Mm-hmm. So, and one of the things... Having heard your story, that yeah. I think that is key is that you were already mentally kind of prepared. You went to school in there. You were already kind of dialed in with different business ideas you had. And that was one of the things that helped me because I had a whole journal of different ideas. And, like, Absolutely. I never, you know, um, to be honest with you, I never looked at 9 to 5 either. I'm like, man, I'm going to make it happen. And so my mentality was already I'm out on the street. And if I was out there, what would I be doing? Where a lot of people, you know, they don't prepare their minds and that's one of the key things that's so important is having the mentality to have something to reflect on when, before you even get out. Absolutely. You know, you can't get out and be like, oh, shit, I'm out now. Yeah, what you am know? I going to do? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the whole time you're in there playing dominoes and watching sports and gambling, doing all this stuff, and you weren't really geared up to where you, 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 you know, you were in play. You know, you got to be ready to go and play any time. It's like, and you, like you said, you were already preparing yourself as though you were already here. Yeah, absolutely. You got to speak things into existence and, and believe it. If you put it into the universe and you believe it, it can come true. And what about those people who, you know, who want to cry the blues and play the victim? They gonna, that's, that's standing in your own way. You know, that, that was what I mean about, you know, getting out of my own way, really looking in the mirror and saying like, nah, it's about you. If they tell you no, so what? Create your own job. That's right. Oh, I can't find a job. I can't. Why? Create your own. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why are you asking them? Why are you asking them? If that's the case, lean on your own greatness. Lean on your own understanding and go. So that means you're standing in your own way because you don't even believe you're intelligent enough to generate, you know what I'm saying, legal revenue for yourself. That's right. So if you can't do that, you ain't never going to be nothing but a slave to, to, to anybody. Anybody who's going to give you a dollar. That's right. And, and that's one of the biggest things I always tell people, man, is, you know, quit begging and create, you know, and he, he's a perfect example. He did 14, over a decade, got out, mm-hmm. this man running his own business, man, what's your excuse? What's that's your what excuse? I thought. You don't have one. <laughs> you know what I mean? He, he's making it happen. So, um, you know, check out this man's social media, um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, this is Big Herc with uh, Manchester from Inglewood, Prison Talk. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.